Yo, what's up, what's up? I'm Renz Davis. Welcome. Not just welcome. Welcome. To another. Renz Reactions. Oh yes, comrade. I do Russian accent because we're doing Strelka. Oh yeah. Dang, that's good. No coughing fit this time, I promise. Because that was Ray's Baha Lime. R for Ray's, R for Ren's, R for Join the Rebellions. So, on with the show. Become a fast fan of street fights, doing reactions to them. Not just doing reactions, but doing English commentary to them. Because, hey, if I don't, who shall? Who shall? I'm asking you, answer me. This one is Tiger Muay Thai versus Real Viking. It's going to be happening in the sands of Strelka. Very excited to see what happens, guys. Oh, yes. Without further ado, let's commence. Ooh, I stand corrected. I stand corrected indeed. This is actually in an octagon. Oh, man. You know what this means, guys? We're going to be seeing fighters that are more interested in kicking taking it down to the ground and not worrying about getting sand in their eyes their mouth their nose you know other places that you might get sand if you're wearing revealing shorts and stuff but these aren't too bad all right so i'm just going to go on a limb the delightful gentleman with the mohawk that guy is muay thai I really wish I understood Russian a little bit. <clears throat> Very nice. Very good, gentlemen. In the opposite corner. With the white gloves and... Oh yeah, those definitely look like Viking tattoos. I think it's clear cut who we have as our Tiger Muay Thai and our Viking. Now, I'm kind of curious to see where this is going to go. I get the weird feeling the Viking might be a decepting fighter. He might be a good boxer, perhaps? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Very curious. Here we go, guys. Now, going off of just what we see here, we didn't really have a tail of the tape. Viking looks like he is a little bit taller. Maybe a little bit bigger in weight, but that doesn't mean anything. It's not the size of the fighter, it's the size of the heart and the amount of technique in each fighter. I honestly think that this might go to the Muay Thai fighter. Round one begins. And by round one, I mean it begins. <clears throat> Alright, off to a good start. Good leg kick. Very nice. Muay Thai goes high, throws a spinning sidekick. Ooh, nice calf kick, very delightful. Good circling around. He is really throwing. He's got some good counters, too. He's definitely keeping active. He's definitely being the more aggressive, but he needs to keep those hands up just in case. Oh, takedown. This is not where the Muay Thai guy wants to be right now. Beneath the mount, this is not good for him. He needs to, like, um, break the posture. Oh, he's going for a trap and roll almost. He gets out of there. He is now on top of guard. Very nice. Throwing those left hands to the rib cage. These aren't knockout punches, but they will build up. It's like when you have a nail and you're just tapping in the tapping in the nail with the hammer. Yeah, it'll take a little while, but eventually that nail gets in, and they're standing it up. Back on the feet. This is definitely where the Muay Thai guy wants to be. 
Let's see where it goes, guys. I, I get the feeling it's going to be a photo finish. Highlight reel knockout, flash KO. Kicks right through that leg that the Viking was trying to check. Now, I don't know what it is, but the Viking doesn't look like he's got very good footwork. It looks like at any moment he's going to get himself crossed up and kicked and swept under. Oh, that was good. Nice leg kick again. He's kicking right on it, like right on the knee. Very good call on his part. Overhand right. Oh, Viking gets himself across on the way in. I'd almost like to see the uh, Muay Thai guy trying to establish a clinch. But I think he might be a little worried about getting taken down as it is. Can't really blame him. But he is keeping at a good striking distance. Very nice. There we go. That's where he wants to keep his hands. He wants to keep those hands up. Nice hook. Very nice. And it looks like Muay Thai is really starting to put the pressure on. Viking's trying to charge through now. Oh! That was a brilliant right hand. It kind of looked like a roundhouse punch, but it also looked like it might have been kind of like a check hook. Very delightful. There we go. There's the replay. The left hand. And, oh, it was a right cross. Followed by some hammer fist. Man, talk about making an analogy earlier. Like at first, he was just tapping in the nail with the hammer. But then he was like, bam, bam. Hammer. Accomplish the task and put the nail through the board. Like it, love it, want more of it? Oh my god, Muay Thai, brutally done, guys. Man, now that was an awesome knockout right there. Like it, love it, want more of it? Oh my gosh. Now, I can't really think of much to improve on the Muay Thai guys. Um, and he got the knockout. Very nice. That was highlight reel. Beautiful Flash KO style right there. I want to see more of that stuff right there myself. In regards to the Viking, if I had to say there was any improvement needed, it would definitely have to be... Hmm. Learn to fight. Learn your footwork. Learn what to do when you're charging in because if you leave your head just right there when you're charging right in, you're leaving yourself a target to be hit every time. And that's not what we want in the fight game. We don't want easy knockouts. We want surprise knockouts that leave fans like clamor like, Oh my god, I can't believe that happened. Viking, you had a little bit of heart in you, but it was not enough to avoid getting knocked out. It's a dang shame. I believe you can make a comeback. Get yourself a couple months of training in the striking. Learn some boxing, perhaps. Because it looked like... Um, you had a general fan's view of what it is to be a fighter. I could be wrong. Maybe this is just a bad day for you. It happens to the best of us. But yes. Thank you all. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do you think I was finished? Did you think I was done? I'm not done yet. Nah, son. So, I'm on a quest for 500 subscribers. Oh, yes. By July 14th, 2021, I plan on getting 500 subscribers in which I do a sparring reveal by July 14th, 2021. Now, first round is going to be, you guess right, kickboxing, three minutes. Second round going to be grappling, five minutes. Grappling, jujitsu, wrestling, whatever you want to call it. And then round number three, you guess right, is going to be mixed martial arts, five minutes. Five minutes of grappling. That's going to be a 13-minute affair where I get myself kicked, punched, armbarred, choked, and then both. Oh, yes. It's going to be good times. I'm excited for the beatdowns to ensue. Oh, yes. But thank you all for watching. Travel safely and rock on, guys. <laughs>